In the 70s, they were breaking down individuals with schizophrenia into three phenotypes, low histamine, high histamine, and pyrolurics. And at the time, this phenotype of pyroluria and schizophrenia um, was manifest as a B6 zinc deficiency. And then when they were given high doses of B6 or zinc, their schizophrenia improved. So that was your kind of ex first exposure to the yeah. nutritional vitamin? Yeah. And so again, I was um, treating patients with depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, mental illness with these various protocols that Carl Pfeiffer had developed. I started doing research in copper-zinc imbalances, mm -hmm. and we had over 500 patients with autism um, involved in a study that we looked at there. And we looked at plasma-zinc and serum-copper ratios. And when you ratio plasma-zinc to serum-copper, what you're looking for is a ratio of one to one. So the balance is more important than the absolute number. Correct. Another concept that takes us outside the traditional lab values. Exactly. So you're not looking at a lab number, right. but you're looking at a ratio. So both zinc and copper could be in the normal range, but the ratio can be way off. That's something I've seen certainly in my patients. Correct. When the ratio of copper and zinc is off, so we want that ratio to be one to one, and patients with inflammatory issues and patients with various autoimmune issues and, and, and sick patients in general, their ratio ends up being disturbed. And what we found out in the autistic, fam uh, the autistic population was that 99% of them, which is a very low p-value in statistics. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. 99% um, of them had low zinc, high copper, and they had a high ratio of copper to zinc of over 1.2. Yeah, so it's very dramatic. Yeah. Findings. And so then um, Dr. Walsh, who headed the Pfeiffer Treatment Center, um, had a theory that this was due to a def defect in a protein called metallothionine. And metallothionine is a protein that is a way, in a way transports copper and zinc through the body.